Hi everyone, it's Captain Rugwash here. Um, I've got a few uh, tribal rugs in it in the minute, um, all from the same customer of mine. Um, she just brought them in the other day, so they just need a bit of a, a freshen up. Um, they've been in her family for a couple of years. Um, I just wanted to obviously show you the you know, detail of small tribal rugs. As you can see, they're only a couple foot, a couple foot wide by three, four foot in length, each of them. So they're not big rugs. Um, just got them laid out here in my client's home. She's let me just make a quick video of them so I can get them onto Rug Care TV. Um, you know, she's really, I'm really proud of these rugs. I've always been in the family for a few years, and the detail on them is um, nice. Obviously, there's a lot of fringe damage going down here. Um, but as you can see, the um, outer borders and the inner borders, and well, there's loads of borders there, to be honest. Um, a nice field. Is this a tree of life? Not too sure if you can class that as a tree of life going up here in the middle. Look, oh, there's the middle. Not too sure if that's a tree of life. If anyone out there thinks it is, then let me know and I'd love to hear from you. Lovely patterns in in all the borders. I mean, there's so many borders, I don't even know which one's the outside, inside, middle, or anything like that, but there's many borders in this rug. And the detail in here is lovely. Um, the fringe is, if you come down, it's cotton fringe. It's taken quite a lot of hammering from a hoover um, and even in the klim there they've actually weaved in some detail on the klim which I haven't seen that much of before but that's really nice so if we turn around to the back um, can't really see it like that sorry we've got two side cords running down there um, done in like a dark brown colour um, it's quite worn this one I think this one's the oldest one um, if you move on to this one here um, this one completely isn't square at all. Um, I think it's been weaved too tight at one end compared to the other. As you can see it's not got any straight sides at all. As you can see there's lovely detail in here. Um, again the history of these rugs. Um, I think they're I think they're Persian, I think. Um, my client seems pretty sure that they're Persian. Again two side cords there. Um, Here's the Kalim. There's wool on that one. It's just really nice when you've got the detail of these these um, flower designs here, I would say. Um, again, if anyone knows anything more about these rugs, please do let me know. I'm um, learning every day as I go along. You can see a detail in here. It's really nice. Pattern going through again. I'm not sure if these are meant to be trees going up here. Obviously, those two, if you zoom out a bit, we've got two columns going up there and two columns going up there. So I'm not sure if this is a prayer rug or anything. Uh, moving on to this one. Um, again, my client's pretty sure that this one's an Afghan. Um, we've got the single side cord on cotton, cotton foundation, wool, wool pile. Um, it's a lot coarser, I don't know if you can hear that. I'm oh, sorry, this one's more coarser, look, you can hear the coarseness. That one's a little bit more softer than that one. Move over to this one. Yeah, this one's a soft one, that one's nice and soft. Um, but going back to this possible Afghan one, obviously got some sort of cross thing going on, so I don't know if I'm looking at this upside down. I'm not sure if this one could be that way. Again, could be another prayer rug. Um, and the detailing in the in the pillars here is quite nice, and the colours are nice and rich. You know, a nice beige field with all the borders coming down there, which is really cool. Um, and coming on to this last one here again. This one's not straight at all. Wool foundation. Um, yeah, wool foundation on that one. Completely not square. Look at that. Not square at all, but a beautiful field on the middle again numerous numerous borders on there so you've got your outer 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 loads loads going on there so I don't know what the significance is if it means something like that there's loads of borders again another question for any of you out there that know your rugs um, but the detail in this is just amazing I mean look at that look at the detail on there if we go down to the outer border look 
um, a single single side cord in navy blue, um, wool fringe or wool foundation, shall we say, um, and just really nice. I'm trying to spot any mistakes because, as we know, um, there's no hand knotted rug that's going to be perfect. Um, so there will be a mistake somewhere. There is that one in that corner there. There's that design. Move over to that corner. It's not. There we go. That's pretty cool. There's probably going to be a few more of them in this rug. But it's amazing. The craftsmanship that's gone into this is is really cool. I don't normally do such a long video. So thanks for hanging in there and watching this video. I normally just make them a couple minutes long. But I've had um, 